Hey YouTube, it's Cape Cod Cuda. I wanted to share with you a recent purchase I made. It's a 2000 Ford F-150 uh, work truck. Ford made these for fleet sales and for um, municipal use, town and city, service trucks. These would be your uh, water department trucks, your highway safety trucks, um, your electric company and stuff like that would have these uh, service trucks that drives around uh, light duty use. Uh, the truck is a base, a base model, no frills, no luxuries with a V8 Triton motor, um, automatic overdrive transmission, heavy duty rear end, heavy duty towing suspension. So all the all the um, essential parts in the drivetrain and suspension and brakes is kind of upgraded to heavy duty um, so that was where the money would go is into the um, mechanical part of the truck and not into any of the luxuries. Uh, and that's what you want a work truck, in a work truck. Um, it has power windows and door locks and a vinyl bench seat. Again, this is a work truck. Um, so the owner actually didn't drive this truck, employees drove the truck. So this kind of got a little raggedy because the guy jumping in inside of it didn't own the truck, he didn't pay for the truck, and he didn't care for the truck. Uh, he didn't clean the truck like he was supposed to if it was his own personal vehicle. He punched his time card and went home at the end of the day didn't bring the truck home with them, so it didn't get the love that it was supposed to. Uh, again, vinyl seat. I can buy these used out of a junkyard for 40 to 50 dollars. Some junkyards sell seats, bucket seats and seats for 25 dollars, and they consider this one seat. Some junkyards you can get away with getting it for 25 dollars. Again, it's a V8 Triton motor with automatic transmission, no cruise control, it does have AC, and it probably came with the base model in uh, stereo, probably just came with the AM, FM radio, and uh, now it has an aftermarket deck in, in it. Uh, the interior was really dirty when I got it, I wiped it down really good, and it's already gotten dirty since I've owned it. Because uh, I've been using the truck for about two weeks, and I've actually been doing some work with the truck. The cup holder sticks in. When you push it all the way in, it sticks in. I, I use a screwdriver to kind of pull it back out. So I used it the other day, and I left it out. Um, it has no courtesy lights in in the truck. There's no little light inside the door or underneath the kick panels or underneath the dash when you open and close the doors. It does have the headliner light up here. The bulb and the cover is missing. I'll, when I go to the junkyard, I'll get it. It doesn't have any vanity mirrors or lights in the, uh, in the uh, sun visors. Uh, there's no map light or anything like that. There's no temperature on the on the um, rear view mirror, there's no power mirrors, uh, no power windows or door locks. Um, uh, it's just the bare centrals. I already popped the hood. Got the rubber floor mat, no carpet. Long bed, single gas tank. V8 Triton, 4.6 liter. Uh, 
I had already cleaned up the engine bay and pressure washed it and everything like that. Truck runs and drives really good. Um, had a couple little problems that I took care of and some stuff I'll be taking care of shortly. Uh, just kind of, I've only had the truck probably around two weeks, so I'm just kind of feeling out, seeing what's up with the truck before I invest a lot of money into it, fixing it up. Uh, I'm not going to rebuild the truck. I'm not going to try to beautify the truck. I don't see any kind of painting in the future or anything like that. I'm keeping it as a work truck, and uh, being pretty is not one of it. the things, essentials. Uh, kind of like the steel wheels with the little hubcaps. They look kind of all right and kind of cool to me, so I don't see me changing out wheels. 16-inch tires are fairly cheap and common, and uh, it's got a mismatched pair on them that's kind of bald. Um, the truck did see some neglect and maintenance, and uh, it did change hands. Um, uh, at some point, I believe somebody else got it. Uh, a younger person might have had it because of the um, mismatched tires. Uh, there's evidence that the tire, recently the tires had been burnt out and there's rubber up inside the wheel wells. So I would think that someone younger or irresponsible was driving it at one point and was burning out in it. Um, but after pressure washing the motor down, there's really no oil leaks or anything on, on the motor or any of the other mechanicals like the power steering pump or, or the um, transmission or anything like that is not leaking. I just have to do some valve cover grommets and my leaks will be done. I will change the valve cover gaskets. Um, I will be buying a new set of tires. Um, the whole suspension in the front has been redone as all new. Uh, what I did was is I oiled down the transmission fluid and the paintbrush, the, the frame, and underneath the, the truck, all the, the front metal and stuff like that because it had some um, rusty water from the overflow from the coolant on it all and I kind of wanted to get all that off of it and so I could see where any kind of uh, issues were plus I don't like the rusty look of on the frame I wanted to you put oil on your frame it won't rust and uh, I've seen a lot of these frames all rusty and I don't like the look so uh, there's no scaling on my frame my frame is nice and smooth and if I keep it oiled she'll uh, to look like that, but the whole front end has been replaced. All the bushings, the upper and lower ball joints and control arms, even the coil springs and uh, shocks have been replaced. Um, again, I wiped everything down with transmission fluid about two weeks ago. Um, but, uh, everything that was replaced, the inner and outer ball uh, uh, tie rod ends and the ball joints have uh, oil fittings on them. Uh, they changed the sleeves and everything. They even changed the pitman arms. They changed um, the sway bar bushings. That one's polyurethane. This one's a hard rubber also. Neither one of them are torn up. None of the suspension is torn up. And it really drives really nice and straight when you drive down the road, which I really like. Uh, the V8 definitely has power. I've been driving a 4.0 Explorer for the last three or four years. So driving this, she is a totally different animal. Gets better gas mileage in my Explorer, I'll tell you that. Probably double the fuel mileage. And uh, I'm really happy about that. And it's a V8. Um, it's got the long bed. Um, I've recently had a couple of oak trees in the back. A friend of mine has a barbecue stand. And we filled this truck up a couple of times with uh, oak trees. Um, two of the tree trunks that I had in here were uh, the length of the bed, just about 8 feet long. And they were round, about 18 inches or more round. And they weighed over, um, they weighed over 500 pounds. The, uh, that's what the guy told us when we picked them up. And uh, there was four of us that picked them up and threw them into the back of this truck from one trailer.
I backed the other trailer, I backed the truck right up to the other guy's trailer, and we threw it in. <clears throat> That's a nice truck. I kind of go under the rear end here for you. Uh, it just had the brakes bled. So you might see some wetness under here, and that's because the brake, the whole braking system was bled. Uh, that this is just dirt that's on the on the frame. There's no rust on the frame. This is just dirt. There's no scaling or nothing. Like I said, I had somebody burning out in it, so kind of kicked some dirt up on it. Uh, rear end's not leaking. All the brake. Back and plates are, are nice and clean. They're not rusty. Uh, easy to work on. You see that made in Mexico trademark. That's hardened leaf springs. I think it has. I'm not sure what the rating is. I haven't looked it up. But these are five springs in the back. Made in Mexico. The exhaust system is all nice going all the way up. Ooh, I'm going to head in the tailgate. It's got some things in dents. That's evidence of the trailer popping. Opens and closes fine. All the lights work. I'm going to go, it's got a four pin trailer system on it. I'm going to get the seven pin trailer system and it plugs right into the harness. And uh, so I'll go to the junkyard and I'll get that. Might cost me five dollars. Then I'll have trailer brakes on my trailer. My Ford Explorer didn't have a seven pin setup. See this plug right here? You unplug it, it you right down to the four pin harness. It also feeds your brake lights. It's right here. Another plug feeds your brake lights. So. Just unplug those two and be good to go. Get that harness for like five dollars with the seven pin round round plug. I'll have some uh chiller light brakes. I just wanted to show you my F one fifty. You guys just kinda keep track of what I got over here because I do videos and stuff like that and I just wanted to show you this new family member, F one fifty. Um, work truck with the V8 Triton 4.6 liter. I uh, got a really good deal on it, got her cheap. Uh, I actually had the Sunny Caps in my garage for about five or six years. If you look back at my videos, you'll see a video of a 2003 F-150 extended cab uh, sport edition. Uh, it was all black with gray interior with the two doors, little uh, extended cab doors that opened up in the back on both sides and I put 24's on it. I took the factory I think it had factory 17's on it and I took those wheels off and I put 24 inch wheels on it and uh, for some reason I held on to these center caps because I had sold the truck and the center caps actually came back to me because the guy took the 24's off the off the truck and sold them because he said I can't afford 24 inch tires and uh, he put the original rims back on then he sold the truck and uh, he ended up giving me the center caps back in a box so anyways this is my F-150 work truck I'll uh, go to the junkyard I'll get a bench seat with the armrest in it you can use um, any of the Ford Series pickup truck seats. You can also use the seats and the center console from uh, Expedition. We'll fit in here the two bucket seats and the center console. I can put bu bucket seats in there, but if I put bucket seats in there, I'm going to rob my um, passenger uh, capacity. Right now, I could have three three people in here comfortably. If I put the console in there it'll become a two seater. And um all I really would like is the armrest with a little storage pocket in it. Compartment with a cup cup holder would be nice. That flips up. So 
so the third person can fit in there. And uh, if I end up, you know, say I go to the store or something like that, two people could still fit in here and I could put some bags in the middle. Uh, I might buy something that I really don't want to sit back here and can't fit back here. So I get, there's a lot of room back there. You see I get that big box in there, and that seat doesn't even go n anywhere near it. And um, I got a tool bag here and my tow lights and stuff and some jumper cables. And uh, I had a chance. There was a kicker box and an amp in the truck when I bought it. And the guy that I bought it from wanted to take it out. And I said, yeah, I got to take that out. I don't care about any stereo stuff. You know, I said, I'd rather listen to the motor as I drive down the road to know what's going on. You know, if my motor's tapping away, I want to know my motor's tapping away. I don't want to all of a sudden blow up and be like, hey, what's going on? I don't want to be listening to the ro to the radio, falling asleep behind the wheel, listening to the radio in la-la land, thinking about other things, when all of a sudden I, I don't realize that I'm blowing smoke down the road and the motor's racking away. <laughs> I want to know. <laughs> so... I'm not big in the story I was years ago, but I'm not anymore. Just opinion. Just an opinion. Said all the lights work. All the windows are clean. I went through the truck. I washed all the windows down. A smoker was in it at one time, and the windows get all tingy when you smoke up. All the nicotine gets inside there and gets on the windshields, and you get glare from the sun and stuff like that. And uh, so I wiped, uh, wiped all the windows down inside and out. There was some decal stickers on it. And I took all those off. You know, someone might not be a sports fanatic and break my window. I hate that team. So I take those stickers off. And this is a fleet vehicle. The town that I live in, the city that I live in, has these on the road with the, with the town. The water department drives these around and other town uh, municipal fleet vehicles have these so me driving around down the road with these little work wheels all white I might be working for the town the man might not pull me over for some reason because of that he might not even look at me oh that's a town vehicle <laughs> just, I'm just saying I'm just saying <laughs> Stop putting rims on your truck and looking flashy like you got money or something like that. They do bother you. They will pull you over. They think a kid's driving the truck. They will pull you over. What's he up to? I'm just, I'm just adding that. <laughs> Not that I, I get a good driving record, everybody. It says good driver on my driving record. It always hasn't said good driver. But it does now and it has for a couple of years or whatever. I tend to keep it that way. Just adding. I'm just adding. <laughs> I know this ain't all that. It's not a it's not a lightning, it's not a Harley Davidson, it's not a any of those other nice looking trucks and it's just a plain F-150 work truck, and she's got dings and dents and scratchers. But she's made with a heavy-duty drivetrain that you can be proud of, and uh, she doesn't have all those computerized gremlins inside, the non-working windows or anything like that. I won't have to worry about this window ever going up and down because it has manual stuff, and... The doors will always open as long as these leather plastic handles don't break. And uh, there she is. Something, as long as I keep on looking under the hood, I, I look at my service, my vehicles daily, meaning I look under my hood every day. I open that hood and I look under there and I check my oil and I look at my, uh, my fluids and stuff and... I look my truck over and I listen to it as I drive and I listen to the brakes and I listen to feel for vibrations and stuff and I'm always looking to see what's going on with my vehicles and this will be no exception and 
I'll be getting some tires soon for it because I feel the comfortable driving the truck now and I know she'll get me from point A to B and she deserves a nice set of tires because those tires is what's on the ground. I hit the brakes. These tires will slide in the rain. So I need to get some tires on here so she'll stop. And, uh, you know, the brakes are good on the truck. They've all been bled. They've all been checked. And I'll just go through the truck as it needs something. Cape Cod Cuda signing out. Thanks for watching. Stay small. Keep it all. You can always get rid of a truck. You can always sell a truck. Get your money back. Get that cool to sign out. Thanks for watching.